Hey guys, it's Cameron again, and I'm back to do a review for Dustin Ferdoon by Cary Corp and Lori Langdon. Now, considering this is the second book in a series, I'm not going to go too in-depth into what the synopsis for this book is about, because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't read the first book. But the series as a whole is about two best friends, Veronica and McKenna, and they go on a trip to Scotland, and while they're there, they find a secret entry into a world called Dune. It's kind of like a medieval land where there are princes and castles and an evil witch who has cursed the land. You may have heard of the stage play called Brigadoon and these books are based off of that stage play. The books are told from dual perspectives so it alternates between McKenna and Veronica. This book mostly focuses on McKenna when the first book mostly focused on Veronica and I love McKenna. She's very snarky and witty and she's also a very kind of a hard-headed character um, in the way that she kind of keeps everything bottled inside and doesn't really like letting anybody in except for her best friend. So when it comes to her relationship with another character in the book, Duncan, it's very, very complicated. Why books usually have these very dreamy, cheesy romances, but this romance between McKenna and Duncan is not really a romance at all. It's, it's, it's very, very realistic in the way that it's kind of tragic. Whether or not that gets resolved by the end of this book, I will leave it up to you to read and find out, but it was very well done. This book does not concentrate on romance as much as the first book did. It kind of goes in a different direction and concentrates more on the actual plot of where the witch is involved and the curse and trying to break that. We also find out a lot more about the witch in this book and how everything started, as well as about the history of Dune and the queens that came before the queen that is now ruling in this book. I'm not going to say who that is though because I don't want to spoil the first one. And I also love the references in this book. There is a reference to the 90s movie Bring It On, Tales from the Crypt, which is my all-time favorite, Grumpy Cat, Buffy, Harry Potter. I just the references were great. Also guys, look at the cover. It's beautiful. Autumn colors for the win. And the ending. The twist ending. Not okay. Not okay. Overall, I cannot recommend this series enough. If you have not checked out the first book yet, definitely go do that and then read this one. This is coming out on September 2nd, so today, this week. So definitely go and pick this up. Read it. It is awesome. So that is all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, so a couple days ago, I went to a book fair. We love book fairs, am I right? And this book fair was in Yellow Springs, Ohio, which is about 20 minutes away from where I live. The book fair happens every year and it's run by this amazing indie bookstore in Yellow Springs called Dark Star Book. 